Just hours ago, an Ada County judge sentenced the man who helped an inmate flee a Boise hospital in a gunfight to life in prison. Nicholas Umpenauer pleaded guilty to half a dozen charges about a month ago. Our Abby Davis is live at the Ada County Courthouse, and Abby, the judge did not hold back. I was at the hearing when Judge Nancy Baskin called him a career criminal, saying he deserved a long and severe sentence in order to protect the community. KTVB wasn't allowed to take video, only photos. Police say Umphenauer shot two Idaho Department of Correction officers while breaking Skyler Mead out of IDOC custody in March. Mead was in the Boise St. Alphonsus Ambulance Bay after the hospital treated him for injuries he gave himself. IDOC says the men met while serving time in prison where they shared the same housing unit. Court records show Umphenauer faced three counts of assault or battery upon law enforcement, unlawful possession of a firearm, escape, and use of a deadly weapon during a felony. During the hearing, the state showed text messages they sent each other before the ambush, as well as audio and video recordings after Umphenauer was booked into jail. In one of the messages on Fenauer sent, he said he was feeling a little rambunctious and, quote, ready to snatch a life. Judge Baskin said she understands Fenauer's struggles with his mental health and had a hard childhood, but said his words show how proud he is of what happened. You showed no empathy, no sympathy, no even care or concern for the lives of the individuals that you were shooting a firearm at. Umphenauer and Meade also face first-degree murder charges in Nespers County for the death of a North Idaho man. Investigators say they killed him during the 36-hour manhunt across the state. They're being investigated for their potential involvement in another North Idaho homicide as well. Nespers County couldn't tell me when they'll move Umphenauer up north. They also couldn't tell me when he'll be arraigned on that murder charge. As part of the sentencing today, Umphenauer could seek parole after 40 years and coming up on the news at six brenda will hear from an idoc officer who testified today about how the ambush impacted him that's going to be very interesting to hear what he asked the judge thank you so much abby for that report